stop judging me with the building site that I've got going on behind me. But a uh, bit more upbeat intro this time. Let me just spin you around. What do I think, guys? Filled their houses up. Look at it! Santa's been. He brought me dry weather so the brickies could get the job done. I say brickies, the builders. Absolutely awesome. Just can't wait now. Ooh, it's looking lovely. The eco drain's all cleaned out. Yeah, so I'm absolutely chuffed a bit. Can't tell you how pleased I am with it. The guys have done a cracking job, so. Over the moon. Flipping size of it as well. I know I spoke on the on one of the videos earlier this week that uh, kind of made a promise to Lady Decoy that I wouldn't buy any more fish this year until till next year we'd get the pond up and then and then I'd start buying next year. But I bought that Ginrin Achiba from the Koi Wholesale auction which I kind of fancied, which was in one of my previous videos. But I also bought something else. And I'll just show you that now. So I turned me uh, heating up to 23 degrees today. So Lady Decoy, if you're watching this, sorry, not sorry. But... So happy with that Kohaka. this filter house that I'm even out here having a celebratory non-alcoholic beer. Don't judge me guys. I do hope my uh, family back home in Northern Ireland aren't watching this because I will be disowned having a non-alcoholic beer. I can hear their voices now. What has happened to that boy? That's not the way we raise that wee lad. It's arrived. I don't care what you sacrifice as long as my window goes in.
all that there, Dave. <laughs> hey, sure, I was a kid. Swing on it. <laughs> Getting excited now, boys. Look what's happening, finally. The big fill, windows are in. Love it. Definitely cigar worthy. Definitely celebration time. Right then guys, I've had my cigar. And while, uh, yes it is raining again, I'm not miserable. So I'll be able to give you a good look now at what we've done. So I've got the coping's on. I've just gone for a, uh, a nice tile on there. I like the finish. And we're currently filling up. Almost up to the bottom of the window. And don't mind me square patches on the fiberglass. Matthew from uh, Morgan Ashton, the pond builders, he wasn't happy with some of the bits and he made the fiberglass. I'll come back and redo a couple of sections. I was all right with it, like, didn't bother me, but. Uh, yeah, Matthew's a bit of a perfectionist, so he made them come back and, and redo it. Won't see it anyway when it's full up, because uh, as you can see from the other bits that we sanded down, lower down, it, once it's wet, it's jet black. So it's fill up time. We have got uh, the roof on my building as well. That's all sorted. Just got to wait on the electrician to come and uh, just got to wait in the Sparky to come and, and install uh, the electrics for me, so he'll hopefully uh, get and do that soon enough. I'll just take you quick, quick in and show you what we've done in here. So, I don't know if you'll see it because it's dark, but there is some lights on the camera. Bottom drains, airlines are in. That's just bodged on for now to give me, uh, to give me something through the bottom drain. I was waiting on this four inch coupler to turn up so that I can then extend the pipe and get me uh, C to 7 over there. I have got a return down there in the corner with a ball valve on it now. And um, obviously return over here with a ball valve. So yeah, but it is a bit of a mess in here. Gonna get it sorted. I think the plan is to just plumb the C to 7 on the skimmer and get that running. That'll give me some, some flow in the pond and leave the bottom drains to aerate while, while we go away, I think. Um, we'll probably end up running that on an extension lead and then the Sparkies can come and plumb in all the electrics while I'm away on holiday. I've got me, me old man, I'll be stopping at the house taking care of the dog and that. So, so yeah, that's uh, kind of where we are and I'm over the moon. I really am. <coughs> I mean... It's a big one. So, just show you what we're gonna do. So all this area here, right up to the fence, up from the pond, from you step out of the, the back door, is all gonna be decking. All along here, all gonna be decked. Right up until the end of the window here. So I can't, I'm not gonna clad the pond until the decking's down. Simply because I'm having it cladded in Canadian cedar and it's as expensive as hell. It's so dear. So just by saving that little section of decking, 
will save me a lot of money on the cladding of the pond. I'll, I'll clad it from the decking up rather than cladding it all the way down and then building the decking up to the cladding. So that's kind of what's holding that up. Yes, sir. But I think there's currently pushing, I'm not going to say what's in there. You can, uh, can all have a guess come the end. But yeah, super impressed. Morgan Ashton, the boys have done a cracking job. Just can't wait now to get the rest of the garden finished and get my door on me building and then I can start knocking me old pond down. Just take you over here as well. Me, uh, me bio chamber that I was having the problems with, the air disc wasn't turning over the media. All sorted. I swapped the air disc out. I put some of that I chucked some of that air diffuser hose on it and I built myself a like a kind of four-way grid thing. Should have some of it in. There's loads of it left. I got junk everywhere. Yeah, that stuff. So I just built myself a, a grid. I used some of this ordinary black or line, filled it with um, stainless steel rods, and then just did, there's literally just, there's literally just a air diffuser here, air diffuser here, and then two solid pieces with the stainless steel in it. I know it looks like it settles on the side there, but it does it does move at all, so happy with happy with how that's performing now. Well, that's about it then for episode eight guys. Thanks for tuning in, appreciate you watching. I'll get uh, I'll get the skimmer all plumbed in and the seed is saved done. Get some water running on the next one, so make sure and subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it. Have a good one.